Okay, I didn't film the making of this thing, but this used to be just a Harbor Freight uh, dust collector, and uh, I added the cyclone here. This is like the frame to hold up the cyclone and the motor, which is mounted on top of the cyclone directly. And I have a fitting there made out of plywood that has a routered groove. You can't really see it, and there's silicone in there and everything, but it, it fits nice and tight to the opening on the top of the cyclone. And then inside that, you can't see there's a four inch hole cut. It's, I mean, a, I think it's, yeah, four inch hole that fits the four inch port that comes out of the blower, out of the turbine or whatever you want to call it there. And there's the original dust bag, dust filter, I guess, and that's the dust bag, plastic bag, and I have a barrel here that I have to cut a little bit shorter because I wanted this to fit under my ceiling easily so I could roll this around and it's a little top heavy because this motor is really heavy and on top of this whole thing it is a little top heavy but and I'm going to come up with a better clamping system for this because this, if I unclamp that, it slides out. The This piece is is silicone to the barrel with again another routered slot that goes all the way around and then the barrel fits up into that slot and it's siliconed in so it's really like glued to it and um, if I undo these clamps it slides out this side the barrel will slide out here and that's how I can empty it and uh, I didn't want to wait to buy a five inch to four inch reducer. So I just, again, made one out of some three quarter inch plywood. Two sheets and this one's, that one is glued to there. And then uh, I screwed and glued that one to there. And then um, in that, I glued this, it's a really thick cardboard tube. If there's any photographers out there, you know, this is from the old Savage backdrop paper they came in these rolls I have nine foot rolls of this stuff so I, if I could find projects to make out of nine foot cardboard tubes I got plenty of it and this is a five inch elbow got from Home Depot this is the five inch hose that came with the dust collector and it goes there so <coughs> basically when this turns on it sucks the uh, dust and chips and whatever in here to the cyclone. The cyclone it spins around in there and the the bigger chunks and everything will fall down into the barrel and then the I'm sure there'll be some finer dust that might make it up the tube come up here into here it comes out here here, here it goes here and it'll be filtered by this bag and it ends up falling into the plastic bag, which eventually I might have to empty. And that's what that clamp is for. You unclamp it, you take the bag off, and you empty it. But yeah, so far so good. And well, and I also, I added this little neat thing. I, I have it hanging up here just for convenience, but this is a remote control. And the remote control unit is right there and it's wired into this box because I couldn't fit it inside the box. I wanted to put it inside the switch box here, but it wouldn't fit. So I have it outside and it's, you know, taped on there and there's the little wire antenna for it. And so if I hear, if I hit this button, I'll hear it come on. See the bag fills up, there's the bag filling up.
All right, well, that's not exactly how this thing is supposed to be used, but you know, I just gave it demo on uh, how well it vacuumed. And there's the motor slowing down. And that's it. So, so far so good. And I love that I can wheel this thing around when I need to. I'm just, you know, careful about when I wheel it around because it is, it is pretty top heavy, but I extended the bottom there and there are uh, casters all the way on this end and all the way on that end. The problem is the narrowness of it. So if I push this thing sideways, it can be a little dangerous, but I'm probably gonna have it for now up against that support, that pole. And uh, I might strap it to the pole, you know, until I need to move it just to keep it stable. But that's it. And I'll, uh, I'll put a link to this remote gizmo. It's great. It's, uh, I think it's 20 amp rated. And uh, cause I was worried with this thing cause this is a two horsepower and I forgot how many amps it draws, but it was, I think it was more than 15 or I don't know. So anyway, I just wanted to make sure this is rated. I do have a 120 or a 110 line that's a 20 amp line that this is plugged into. And you can see there's the heavy duty extension cord I got going into that, into that line. So uh, yeah, this is my little dust collector for now. So far so good. You can see only little fine things got sucked into there. Most of the big stuff will be in that barrel. Okay, I'll post an update when I get a better, I might do some like uh, key nuts in the bottom piece and you know, bolts from the top that I can just screw in real quick. Okay, take care guys.